Why hello YouTube, welcome back to a brand new skin review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Signal, which if you don't know was the last actual skin to be released from Season 3. Now in my opinion, I would recommend him, he's really cool. He technically is 800, but he comes with a wrap. You can see right here, he comes with a wrap, but however I'm not going to use it in this video because I don't really particularly like the wrap. Although I do like the little zaps. But you can see, he's all green, he has, he's like a robot, but he's like, junkified. I like him personally, the fact that he has like a little eyebrow thingy. Um, there, like there's the mouth with the teeth, and the nose, and looks really cool. And then his Lego style, which is actually just as cute. I love how they did the head. That looks so cool. And then you got Signal's booster, which literally is just a giant speaker attachment. Now, because he doesn't come with an actual pickaxe or glider, um, this does kind of require a bit from last season. So if you won last season and have a Junker umbrella, I'd recommend using it with him. And for a little bit of a nod to how he is, I decided to use April O'Neil's boom mic because you know, radio deal. Now, you might think it doesn't fit. Well, look at the yellow. He has yellow on his knee pad, the uh, yellow wiring, and then he has yellow speakers. Kind of fits with this. Plus, he does have brown, so it works. So, let's jump into a game. So, we are in game now, and you can definitely see what I mean. It kind of fits him. Um... The only thing I don't like about this pickaxe though is it kind of looks a little too wonky. Probably it's going to switch it back to the shovel. So I want a toy soldier. But uh, yeah, so in my opinion, I recommend him. We're going to go straight to Rebel's Roost. But yeah, so... Um... Personal opinion, I'd recommend him. He's really cool. I would rate him a 9.5. He's really good. I just wish he came with, like, something to actually come with a set. You know, if he actually came with, like, lighter. Or at least a pickaxe. That would have been nice. Um, but you can see how the Junker Umbrella kind of works with them. And then you have... Like, he just looks really cool. I, I always love the, like, makeshift skins that just look so funky. I love them because they look so cool because they're unique. Um, because the one thing I like about, like, like to buy with skins specifically is their uniqueness. I love the unique, like, the more unique skins. The ones that aren't exactly symmetrical, the ones that are actually really good looking. Get my eye quickly. Um, you know, but uh, I don't think anyone's landing here. But basically, the re like with the last video, the reason why I stated that Rebels Roost was the best drop spot this season is simply for the fact that there's like five Stark chests in them in the building. Um, now not all of them will spawn together. Um, now. There's usually one up here, always. In this case, I just got myself a Monarch Pistol and all that stuff, so yay. Got ourselves a nice meaty shotgun. I'm just gonna get rid of that. That's the side, get rid of that. Like so. But if you come over here, there's usually a chest back here. There's usually one up here, so that's one. So not all of them are here. Um, there's usually one over here at the edge at the corner. And in this case, it's here. Um, nice. We got War Machines and Arsenal. There's usually one over here, but it looks like in this case, it's not here. And then there's one usually on one of the side rooms over on this end, on this end of the house. 
Um, and in this case, there is. Which gave the exact same thing. So, yeah, so, it's a good landing spot. And it also has the, the, the weapons. It has, like, a lot of ammo boxes. It has a lot of loot. And plus, it's surrounded by trees, which makes it kind of easier to loot up and everything. And sometimes it even has a safe in this room. Um... But yeah, so, personal opinion. But yeah, back to the skin, though. I personally love this skin. It's amazing, the fact that they keep bringing things, like, random to life. I love that they do that. Because it gives Epic a little bit more of a unique, or, like, kind of creativity, almost. Um, now, I also want to discuss... Um, the OP strat I talked about in my last video, well, my, my, uh, season video, because, and I never really got to it, because I died so, uh, quickly, because it was really chaotic, but one of the things that are really OP is, um, a, a couple of strats, the first strat is to, get a jetpack and captain's shield because that way you can like block midair and attack so it's kind of both ways another thing is jetpack again but with war machines arsenal that one's like really overpowered because like you can fly up above and like just rain fire down another tactic is the tracker with cap and shield because while you're blocking the thing will shoot the shield making the shield's um blocking ability go more down because you can't if like i heard some youtubers said that you know you like you can infinitely block with that thing well realistically you can't um you can't actually like infinitely block it's like a uh, it's like the shield from the first season of the chapter oh someone's already looted here but it's, it works a lot differently because you can actually throw it. Um, it's it's pretty much the same thing though. It's just not entirely different. It's just the same thing. You can attack with it. You can block with it. You can ram with it. Um, and something actually happened the other day where I blocked a car from hitting me. And, um, you can actually block cars with the captain's shield, except you will take immense fall damage if you're not in the right area. I found that cool. The fact that you can actually block cars with a vibranium shield, I mean, that makes sense, because vibranium can't really be broken. And I know someone with battalions are right over here. So someone just got brutally murdered, apparently. Why are you attacking me, bro? I'm trying to kill the damn medallion. Come on, dude, don't team. And that's what you get for, tr for trading lives. Dude, I had a full loadout too, Jesus. Thank you, whoever I killed. I appreciate you. Come watch my video and see if he got killed by air mode. A YouTuber. But yeah, so... 
Is there any big pots around here I can use? Because I kind of need one. Kind of need a... Uh, I mean, I could kill you guys. I mean, you're not really important to me. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. I hate those things. God, I hate those things. So annoying. I gotta get a car and get the hell out of here. But Jesus, how many times do you need to blow me up? Like, oh my god. He's still shooting out the building. Holy crap. It's like as soon as you get a medallion, you're immediately a target to everyone, and everyone's gonna target you. It's like pointless to get them. Unless you are willing to literally get like pretty much slammed by the whole lobby, you're kind of no point to using those things. Now, I will need meds. So I'm just gonna take my. Oh my lord, he's back. Oh my god, bro. Oh my lord, just leave me alone, dude. Leave me alone, man. Like, come on! What is with you people trying to kill everybody in the lobby, dude? What do you have the worst FNCS can do? Jesus, you have no taste. Like, come on. Get a life, man. So yeah, we're gonna be ending off the review today for that because I genuinely am just really not liking that. Like, come on. Spamming? Anyway. So, in my opinion, I'd rate this thing a 9.5. I will see you all in the next one. So long, peace out, and roll out.